Well, here we are. Hugo Lake State Park. Hugo Lake. Good morning. Drinking coffee, watching the sun come up. Lots of birds singing. I have to admit, when I arrived here yesterday, I, I felt kind of disappointed because the, I don't know, my expectations were different. But how, how can you complain about that? So today, I'm gonna head over to check out the outflow from the dam, pick up some minnows, since I found out where the honey hole is, and you'll, well, the supposed honey hole, uh, and you'll get, you'll get an inside track on that as well. Stay tuned, more to come. All right, I'm out here wandering around. I'm headed to get some minnows. You gotta go out to the highway to get the minnows. But as I was driving across the, the causeway there, I saw the marina and thought, well, let's just go over here to the, the state park side and, and see what they have to offer. They do have gas for, for boats and you can rent a boat slip. Uh, and they actually have a, a pontoon boat available for rental a uh, four hour rental, I don't know. I didn't make a note of what she said. <laughs> I think it was like $150, I don't don't quote me. Uh, and they have cabins here in the state park available, whoo. So you don't have to have an RV to come to Hugo Lake. I have three different types of cabins, uh, one with bath, one without a bath, and one super nice. Uh, and they vary in price from like $70 and up per night, depending on the season. You can get all that information off the, the Hugo Lake State Park website. I think that's the boat that's available for rental. Anyway, we're gonna go check out a couple of those cabins. Just walk by them. So cabins all sit, I'm not gonna say lakeside because from the other, from the COE property, I could tell that this part of the lake, it's, it's a, almost a sheer drop down to the water. But this is the, an example of cabins that you could rent here at Hugo Lake State Park. Hugo Lake State Park does not allow RVs, but they do allow tent camp. They have tent camping. They have a really nice little tent camping loop here on a kind of a hidden cove. It'll probably be a great place to fish when the crappie are running. Just, just know that the uh, there's not any showers here, and from what I saw, it's. I don't even know if it's a vault toilet. It looked like an outhouse. So let's go see some more stuff. I probably should have put the polarizing filter on before I left, but I, I didn't think about that. Um, here, I'm, I'm still in Hugo Lake State Park. I wanted to show you. <laughs> that's water access from the cabin loop. I'm at the, the end of the row here. That's kind of an example of one of the the $150 a night cabins. On the way out, we'll take a look at the the more primitive cabins. 
Hugo Lake State Park. Alright, it'll be the last video footage shot here at Hugo Lake State Park. These are the more primitive cabins available. They don't have bathrooms. They do have air conditioning and a lake view. And each one of them have a, a screen patio, screened in porch, and a fireplace. And she said they are, I don't know, 50 to $75 a night, something like that. Anyway, I'm done here in Hugo Lake State Park. They don't like RVers, so I'm out of here. I'm here at the Overlook for the Hugo Lake Outflow. A lot of people fishing down there this morning. They got a mess of catfish. That's a climb, isn't it? Yeah, a pretty good one. <laughs> Dang, that's a long way down. I'm not taking you down there. All right, so the last thing I said was wrong because I was up there. And now we're down here. I just wanted to see this from a, a, a lower perspective. I, I can only imagine how much water comes through here. You can see the coloration change. So I would be underwater. Well, maybe not quite underwater, but I wouldn't be standing here. There'd be so much water coming through those gates. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Uh, this is a first for me. Definitely a first for Dude RV. This is the Hugo Lake shooting range. That's for rifles over there, I guess. And this is rifles and small arms here. Very interesting. Doesn't cost you anything to come out here and shoot. I guess maybe uh, they would rather you come out here and shoot as opposed to stepping out your back door. But it, it does face west, so. They put the very steep slope. <laughs> All right, so if you have your your weapons with you when you come to Hugo Lake, you know where you can come to shoot. This is it's on the other side of the dam from where I'm camped. I didn't see it on the map. So if you're in the Hugo area, if you're camped at uh, Kayamichi Park on Hugo Lake, you might want to practice your archery, from your deer stand archery. They have a practice range. I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of the lantern hooks are. I guess that's, uh, you, if you're into archery, you know what that's for. It looks like there's another structure out there somewhere. 
Now you know. I came into Hugo for some supplies and while I was looking at the map I saw a transportation museum. I thought that's, that's I think that's really neat. Uh, it's, it's definitely uh, on its dying days though. It's all rotted out up there at the front. I think that's a switch engine because there's a big switch switching yard here. Son. It looks like the museum is closed though. But, but I'm gonna walk over here and see. We'll find out. I was correct. It is closed. I've come to realize as I, as I was coming into town, uh, actually some of my neighbors last night and I were talking about uh, the endangered ark foundation here at Elephants. Uh, this is the home of a couple of circuses. I did not know that Hugo was considered circus town. Uh, Carson and Barnes and I saw a sign for another one. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get on a tour for the Endangered Art Foundation. Maybe next time. Kayamichi. Not much, not much to show you. <laughs> Everything's closed. Uh, it looks kind of run down though. I think this used to be a train station for uh, public transportation type trains. The, the way that it's laid out. It's got a nice long concrete. But there again, without being able to go in the museum, I'm not going to know. So I'm sitting down here with my hooks in the water. That buoy is supposed to mark a 40 foot brush pile, of course, and I think it runs that way. But it says, supposedly it says fish here. Of course, I can't read what that says. Uh, it does not say what time to fish here. It just says fish here. It doesn't say fish here at noon, fish here in the morning, fish here in the evening. But morning or evening would be better than high noon, such as it is right now. Because it's, it's pretty warm. That's okay. We got a breeze. We have water. I'll keep you posted. If there's no pictures of fish, I didn't catch any. <laughs> Stay tuned.
GoPro stopped recording. GoPro stop recording. Stop recording.